coming out, ma'am. No, ma'am. Why, ma'am? Cause I got a cold, ma'am. Where'd you get the cold, ma'am? From the South Pole, ma'am. What you doing there, ma'am? Catching polar bears. Josh, are you okay? No, I just want to be left alone. Marcus, what's wrong with Josh? He said he was picked on at school by a much older, bigger boy. Oh, no. Did he tell the teacher? It just happened. Well, he should tell his parents and the teacher. He doesn't want to. Josh thinks it's up to him to do something. Do what? You said the boy's older and bigger. We have to convince Josh that telling someone is the right thing to do. Josh, we're really sorry you were picked on. They want you to tell your parents. And our teacher, Miss Dube, will put a stop to it. Uh, uh, put a stop to what? Has somebody done something Gigi should know about? A bully picked on Josh at school. Tell me where the bully is and I'll buzz right in his ear. Thanks, Gigi. But I don't want you getting hurt. I'll handle it. No way. It's not cool to try and take on a bully by yourself, Josh. He wouldn't be by himself. I'd be with him. I... I, I don't need anyone's help. It's my problem. Uh-oh. This is serious. I think we need Mr. Z. Mr. Z! It's okay, Gigi. I'm up here. <laughs> Josh. I know you're angry and upset, and you have a right to be, but your friends are just trying to help you. I know. Thanks, guys. Josh, why do you want to handle this all by yourself? Because that's what we're supposed to do. That's how we become tough. Only scary cats go running to the teacher. Who says? Everybody, like on TV or, or in the movies, good guys are the ones who stand up for themselves. Josh, you have to stand up for yourself, but you do it in different ways. By telling the proper people about a bully, you're standing up for yourself. I am? Yes, and you're helping others, because the teacher will stop the bully from picking on anybody else. But, Mr. Z, if Josh tells, then he's getting someone else into trouble. Yes, but is that the main reason Josh is telling the teacher? No, he wants the bullying to stop, that's all. Exactly. He wants to be safe. All of you have the right to be safe. I know lots of stories where the hero teaches the bully a lesson. <laughs> and we all love that. But... They're only stories. I guess when you're making up a story, it's easy to have it come out the way you want. Mr. Z, can you tell us a story like that? I, I want something to turn out the way I want it, even if it is only a story. As a matter of fact, I have the perfect story. Long ago, there lived a very small meerkat who liked to spend her days roaming around on the African felt. Excuse me. Exactly what do you think you're doing? I said exactly what you think you're doing. Well, I'm exactly eating lunch. Eating lunch, shall we? I suppose you have a lunch permit. Permit? Uh, what permit? According to Rule 456, Section B, Elephants graze up to where the marula tree meets the thorn tree. So? Mm? Uh -huh. So, you're not supposed to be here. Puny little meerkats like you eat on the other side of the hill. Here, let me help you on your way. Mm? Ah! <laughs> 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 hmm? Oh, no. Don't tell me there's a meerkat on my head. Uh, there's a meerkat on your head. Sorry. Are you the same meerkat that nearly bit my ear off yesterday? Well, that was an accident. I was thirsty. I didn't see you under the water. What did I tell you then? Uh, you told me not to bother you again or you'll blow me away. And what are you doing now? Uh, bothering you again. And what am I going to do now? Blow me away. <sighs> Mm -hmm. A 
Hello again. <laughs> what are you doing here? I know, I know, meerkats are not supposed to be here. But I'm getting a little tired of being pushed around. Oh, really? <laughs> ah, very funny. I thought so. Okay, that's it. I challenge you to a tug of war. Then you'll see that I am stronger than you are. <laughs> stronger than me. Now that is funny. You're a comedian. <laughs> well, if you're afraid. Afraid of you, a puny meerkat. Let's do it. Bring it on. I'm ready. Yeah, good. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, you pull this end. I'll go over the hill and pull the other end. Whoever pulls the other one over the hill wins. Uh, don't start pulling until you feel a tug. Ah, that means I'm ready. Ah. Oh, a tug of war with a meerkat. How ridiculous! I'll win this with one big tug. Why is the meerkat challenging an elephant? There's no way she can win. <laughs> of course the meerkat is going to win, because it's a story, and we all want the meerkat to win. Maybe it's a magical rope, or oh, the meerkat has magical powers. The meerkat will tie the rope around the tree that is much bigger and stronger than the elephant. Maybe we should let Mr. Z tell us how it works out. <laughs> you again? Didn't I tell you to stay away from me? If you want, I can stay away for good. Good. But only if you prove that you are stronger than me. I could squash you like an itty bitty bug. That would prove it. Ah, I suppose so. But could you beat me at an itty bitty tug of war? Oh, of course I could. Um, what is a tug of war? Ha, it's a game. You pull this end of this vine, and I'll go over the hill and pull on the other end. Whoever pulls the other one over the hill wins. <laughs> Oh, cool. Oh, a game. I'm in. <laughs> ha, great. I'll tug the rope when I'm ready. Good luck. <laughs> I don't need luck. We all know who's going to win. It was a mighty battle as the two stubborn bullies refused to give in. All day the battle raged. And then, all night, and all the next day, until every muscle ached with the effort. You! You're supposed to be a meerkat! Oh, I thought you were a meerkat. We've, We've been, been tricked! tricked. <laughs> the winner! <laughs> <laughs> that was a great story. Thank you, Mr. Z. I I feel a little better now. I knew the meerkat would win. Yes, but even though the meerkat won in the story, what good did it do? Yes, after a trick like that. The meerkat will never be able to go near the hippo or the elephant again. But the story's over, so it doesn't matter, right? Exactly. It was only a story. But the bully who picked on Josh is real. And even if he stops picking on Josh, what's to stop him picking on Marcus or Pula or anyone in your class? That's why Josh has to do the best thing. I, I think I understand, Mr. Z. When I get home, I'm going to tell my parents, and tomorrow, I'll tell our teacher. Good for you. Let's hope the teacher is able to make the bully understand that what he is doing is wrong. And that will be the best thing that could happen to him. Then Josh will be helping everybody, and that makes him my hero. <laughs> okay, I challenge you guys to a tug of war. How about it? Yes, yes! Me too, me too. Thanks, Mr. Z. Yeah, yes, Mr. Z. Yes, yes, Mr. Z.
me, I challenge you to a game of tag of war. Okay, Zizi. Let's see who can pull who around these books. Ready?